my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium and I've been asked to do a painting very similar to the one that I did in video number 37 which is a lovely rainbow Dutch pour on a long canvas and that particular one is 50 centimetres by 20 centimetres and today I've got one that is double size it's one metre by 40 centimetres so I think it will be really nice and really fun to do. I've got exactly the same colours ready to use, which is the lovely Deep Sapphire by Deco Art, mixed with a little bit of Payne's Grey. I've got this beautiful Aqua Marine as well, Blue Topaz, the wonderful 24 karat gold, and this lovely pink tourmaline. Uh, so I will mix up my white base, which I haven't done yet, and I will put my pins in my canvas and I will level it with my spirit level and uh, I'm quite excited about it. I think it should be really good fun to do and I'm hoping to get something similar to that one that I did before. So I will get started and mix up my white base and then uh, you'll be able to see the colours going down and when I blow that out with my hairdryer. So it should be quite exciting. So here I am mixing up my paint. It's all nice and freshly mixed. So it's a really nice consistency. And I'm just putting it into the centre of my canvas at the moment making sure that there's plenty of paint there and then I will move that all around with my hairdryer. I like to start in the centre because it makes it really neat and tidy. I try to work as cleanly as possible. So now I'm just gently pushing that paint with the hairdryer so that it evenly goes towards the edges with my nozzle paint facing in the direction that I want the paint to go. And I keep my hand there just to try <laughs> to stop the paint from going everywhere. I don't always succeed, but it's working out really well and the paint is lovely and smooth and just the right consistency. And now I'm just taking that paint so that it goes over the edges so that my edges are nice and neat and smooth. I'm paying attention to the corners. Uh, it's very easy to miss the corners if you weren't paying attention, just to make sure that they're covered nicely. And I can make sure as well that there's no puddles of paint, so it's all evenly coated all the way around. Just really moving that paint from the centre outwards to the edges. And now I'm just going right round the edges again. Again, it's really important for me to make sure my edges are smooth. And I like to do that right from this stage. I like to get my edges smooth now rather than try to sort it out later. And then when the video is turned off, I will go around with my palette knife and catch any drips from underneath. And just make sure that everything is looking well prepared for when I have my next stage and add all the paint, which you'll see in a minute. As you can see, I've put my base on. It's quite a hot day today, so I want to work relatively quickly because I think the paint will dry quite quickly. The edges, I've made sure that they are lovely and smooth. It's really important to me to make sure that my edges are done before I start the painting. And I will just measure there. 
just so I know where the centre is really. There. So that's around where the centre is. Move this ruler out of the way. <coughs> now I know that uh, the camera is a little bit far away, but I think that it's going to have to be the best way to do it so that you can see all of it as it goes on. So this is the Deco Art um, Deep blue sapphire which is one of my favourites mixed with a bit of Payne's grey and then the next one is the aquamarine these are all deco art colours and this one if you're not careful can overtake a little bit so I will just put just one line of that on the blue topaz disappears a little bit um, when it's on here, I'll just do a few little blobs so that you'll be able to see it around the edges. I'm just going to really put these on kind of in a line, really. And then my favourite 24 karat gold is always lovely. A few bits just in general. It doesn't matter if there's a lot of that because it is really nice. And then this pink, pink tourmaline. little bits so that it's kind of all over the place and a few little dots and a few little dots of blue here and there Walls maybe. <laughs> so the only one I'm not going to do lots of is the aquamarine because that is a very strong colour. Whereas certainly the blue tool, the uh, blue topaz isn't such a strong colour. it's a big canvas I do need to make sure that I have put enough colour on because once the white goes over it it will just kind of make them a bit more kind of pastel and disappear <laughs> I don't want to do too much aquamarine, I better not put some more on. And this is the point where you think, well, is there enough colour? Is there a big enough variety? Always difficult to tell. I mean, there certainly looks like there is. <laughs> she says. Oh, a little bit more pink. because the white will kind of eat it up a little bit especially the blue topaz
there. I'm going to call that done now. I think that's enough colour because once that all uh, goes over, all this white, it will, I think, be fine. So I think I'm going to use the white out of this container because it might be just a little bit easier to pour around this edge. using a lot of paint today because I do want it to kind of flow that little bit and especially actually as it is quite hot today right take my nozzle off of my hairdryer today. I can put it back on again if I decide to and uh, we shall blow some of this paint over. not really flowing very much. Maybe here. And it definitely wasn't flowing very much around here or there. And uh, yeah, definitely not there. I just want it to all mix together. And at the moment, those little bits are a little bit stubborn. There, so that has got that. So now I will just blow this out with my hairdryer and we'll see what we get. need to leave that to settle for a little bit and let those colours come through and that is the nerve-wracking bit really I don't know whether I should just blow those this area down just a little bit I like how the colours are but it doesn't match this side so that will just help a little bit I think. So yes, this is the nerve-wracking bit. This is the bit where you don't know what you've got <laughs> and you've got to wait to see. Just let those colours come through. I've got a tiny little dot and there. But apart from 
from that, that is looking pretty perfect actually. I think I will put my torch on it and let those colours come through from underneath and that will also take the bubbles out. But yeah, those colours are starting now. You can see how they're starting to sort of darken. And I think if I put my torch on. start to come through even more but it's looking really nice I am at the moment thinking that I don't think I need to alter that I really like the design because this is pretty central you've got these two bits that come off and then these two bits and they're nice and level and then those this is more concentrated in colour here, but I like that. looking really nice and it is looking very similar to the one that I did in my video number 37. It is looking lovely. So I'm going to let that settle for a little while and those colours will start to come through even more and then I will bring you down for a close-up and then you can really see how that is. So here is this painting. It's had a little while to settle, which is always really nice because those colours start to come out and all those little different coloured cells start to form and the edges are really pretty and defined. I haven't done anything else to it apart from make sure my edges are nice and neat and tidy and uh, put the torch on it just to take out any little bubbles. And I've checked it all over and I'm really happy with it. I think it's really pretty. And when this dries, particularly the gold, it will be really shiny and really pretty. And the edges are lovely. Sometimes I need to alter the edges with my straw a little bit. Sometimes just to make the composition a little bit more symmetrical. But this time, I just felt that I really like it as it is. I love the way all those colours have blended together. I love these little sections. And I just think it is lovely. All these lovely little bits. So I will let you see that when it dries. It's going to take a few days. I'm just going to leave it in this room and just not look at it um, and let it dry. And uh, I'll let you see that in a few days. So bye for now. So here is this painting. I've brought it outside in the sun for you to see. It's had a good few days to dry because I didn't want it to be at all wet when I moved it. And all these lovely little details that have come out, all those lovely rainbow of colours in the little cells there and the edges. And it has dried really nicely. That lovely centre there with quite a lot of gold and the aqua marine. And it is just looking really nice. I'm really happy with how it's turned out and I think the sun will catch all those 
lovely metallic colours which will come out even more over the next few weeks. It'll be about three weeks until I varnish this now. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.